Hi, <laughs> Audra here, also known as Twisted Chalker, and I am your independent creator with Magnolia Design Company. And this evening, I was just sitting here in the freezing cold. It's kind of cold in here even with the heater going, but um, I've been homebound since Tuesday evening, working from here and then playing around. And um, I was sitting here making some decorating some wood bunnies and I thought I would just come on and share it with you. I don't know if you've seen this one that I finished. Um, hi Laura, so good to see you. Anyway, so here's my bunny that I finished using the floral print. Um, and with the help of everybody out there, I got, I decided to put the carrots in the green bow. And then I started working on these. I have these bunnies. And I have some white ones and some this blue one and this purple one and uh, I was doing them and I thought well why don't I jump online and show everybody how easy it is so I stenciled this pink one on this side we get the floral print with this whoops goodness gracious I have to be careful I don't know if you can see it either. Like this. This is my floral print self-adhesive reusable stencil. As you can see, a screening on there. And wherever the screening shows up is where the, the chalk paste will go through. So when you just lay it on your project and then you just swipe the chalk paste over it, and that's what you get. So I did this pattern on the pink and I did it on the purple. And now I'm going to turn it over and do a different pattern on the back side. Um, this one I did a little earlier. He's so cute. I did little polka dots and all it took was taking the tip of a paintbrush and dipping it in the white chalk paint and then just dabbing it. So I dip it, dab it a couple times, dip it, dab it a couple times. So I had all the polka dots on there. And then I decided I wanted to do something a little different on the other side. So whoever ends up with this could choose to do one way or the other. So I used the mini buffalo pad. This one, plaid, not pad. This one, as you can see, is a little stained and used. But it's reusable. There's nothing wrong with it. And as you can see, it does great. It does a great job. I've got that out there laying on the towel drying. So there's that one. Now I want to do this side and this side. And this is the part I thought I would share with you before I finish it all. Oh, 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 oh. And I want to show you. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've seen this little bunny I did. This little guy here. These guys, these are my favorite, one of my favorite things to do. But I bought these little carrots from Amazon.com. They're little unfinished wood carrots. I'm not sure where I put them. I put them back in my room. That um, I'm going to make a garland out of. And I painted them black. And I did one side with polka dots. And that is our polka dot self-adhesive reusable stencil. And then the other side I did on the, with the plaid. So... Um, thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. Love you. Anyway, um, so I did a few of them, <laughs> and I'm going to make a garland out of it. I've got to get a hold of some green and orange ribbon. Anyway, um, so I'm going to move this down to the table so you can see what I'm doing down here on the table and see the patterns that I pick to to put on here all right here we go all right so here's the bunny i didn't show you i've got these two these two eggs that i need to redo i haven't quite decided what i want to do with them yet so once i decide i will i may just do it a live on them sunday night's live maybe the eggs all right so on this bunny, I'm wanting to do the mandala pattern. And on this bunny, I, I'm, 
I was thinking about going the buffalo plaid, but I don't want to overdo the buffalo plaid. So I may just do like I did this one because I really, I really, really like in this one. So, all right. And everything I'm doing in brilliant white, just because um, I like it. I like the way it looks. And then afterward, it'll be easy to just pick some ribbon and make little bows. This side, I already glued this bow on before I decided to do a second side. And so I'm going to do another bow right here. just to, And I may do the same one because I like the little mixture of the little pop of the pink and the yellow mixed in with the blue and the white. So, all right. So this is the mandala um, stencil, self-adhesive reusable stencil. And I wrote on the back already because I've used this numerous times. And so all I gotta do is peel it off. Like I said before, I've used it several times, so I don't need to worry about um, buzzing it because it's not super crazy sticky. It still has enough stick on it to work. I don't think I want that in the middle though. I don't want it to look like a target. So I'm gonna move it down right about there. Yep, the ear's not gonna get much to it, so I'm going to move it over. <laughs> line it up how however you want you can line it up you can put the target in the middle of it if you want it the target looking section you can choose not to it's just totally up to you brilliant white paste I've been using it quite a bit this evening with all the Easter stuff I've been making so, I'm going to go ahead and stir it up. Make sure it's the right consistency, which it is. All right. Whoopsie. Now, all I'm going to do is take some of the paste and just swipe it on here. And I can see the bunny through the screened areas, so I know exactly where to go. Get his little foot. There we go. I am applying it a little on the thick side because I don't want the areas that I'm finished with to dry before I finish the rest of it. So I'm going to apply it a little thick. And then when I'm finished, I will just scrape off all the excess and put it back in the container. If it is to dry while you're working on the project, what will happen is when you pull the stencil up off of your surface, it will just pull the chalk with it. And so your design will not stay down. It does dry pretty quick when exposed to the air, which is why I always have to stir it when I open it to make sure it's in the right consistency. Okay, I went a little too far on that. <laughs> All right, so the whole rabbit has been chopped. See a little pink right there. I don't want to see any pink. Now, all I have to do is scrape off the excess. It's kind of funny. How crazy this weather is. I'm usually complaining it's too hot, even when it's cold out. But lately, <laughs> I have been bundling up. Wearing, right now I'm wearing top leggings under my jeans and this big thick flannel shirt and thick socks under my shoes. It's just weird. I haven't dressed, I haven't bundled up like this in a long time. Okay, you ready for the peel to reveal? And here we go. 
Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect little bunny for Easter. Now, um, I didn't bring water to, because I wasn't expecting to do this. So let me, I need to go wash this really, really quick. I will be right back. Don't go away. That's it. These stencils are really easy to care for. All you have to do is put them under running water and wipe them down. We have these um, these little board eraser slash stencil cleaners that are great for wiping them down and I just use them over and over and over again until they fall apart. And it takes a long time for that to happen. So we have this. I need to dry it a little bit so this is about to get loud if you want to turn your volume down. dry so now um, this will most likely end up in my booth if we're ever out and about again <laughs> this apocalyptic cold weather does keep us inside too much longer so whoever ends up picking this up out of my booth will be able to have options and I'll see this one I think I'm not going to add a bow because I think this one is perfect just the way it is so there's that one and then this one again is finished just a little polka dotted on one side and the buffalo plaid on the other. I do want to add a ribbon here. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing as this. So before I get too involved with it, I'm going to go ahead and close this off so it doesn't get too dried up. These stir sticks and squeegees are definitely reusable, so I'll just wash it and reuse it at another time. For now, though, I'm just going to set them aside. I'm all over the place because I've been working like crazy, having fun. Let's see. So this is just Dollar Tree ribbon. I love the colors and the pattern, but I'm not loving that. So that's not going to work. Well, that's not what I planned for. <laughs> I'm not even thinking... Here we go. I'm not loving that either. I think we need polka dots for this side. Don't you think so? A little polka dot ribbon. Let's see. If I do a polka dot, I have to pick the color. <laughs> Let's see. What do you think? What color should I do? There's navy, purple, light purple, red, fuchsia, black. Ooh, that's pretty. What do you think of the black? Or... White would be too, that's too white. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the, or should I go orange? What do you think? I'm thinking black. Or pink. Can't really see the pink though. Decisions, decisions. I think it's going to have to be black because the black, I think, really pops. But I like the orange as well. Hmm. 
and I go flat. So, the first cut I'm going to make is just enough to fit it like I did this one. I want this side to look completely different from that side because It gives the person variety. All right, round that up a little bit. And just put a little strip of glue. My handy dandy um, makeup spatula from Dollar Tree. It's fantastic. I don't burn my fingers anymore. And then, I don't know if you heard in one of my other videos, but I've been on a serious black and white kick this year, lately, not this year, but lately, if you haven't guessed. From my little carrots and my my bunny oh and my wooden carrot I haven't showed you that here is the finished wooden carrot it used to be dark green and this big orange carrot and it had a bunch of um, the raffia stuff put on it and so I took it all off and Repainted it and just put a little touch of green, a little touch of orange, and that's the carrot. And that too was done with the mini plaid, um, mini plaid buffalo stash, mini buffalo plaid stencil, and the happy Easter stencil that comes with the egg extravaganza, the hippity hoppity, and the um, little egg little egg um, patterns. I'm going to do that. And this. I didn't do it very straight. I don't have my glasses on. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> it just looks like a big old blob without the glasses. better. So I'm going to turn that around so that the polka dots are sticking out. But first I need to tighten it. There we go. That's better. Oh, it loosened up again. Goodness gracious. Okay, put a little glob of glue right about here. Oh, that's a big old glob of glue. <laughs> Turn that around. I'm going to burn my fingers a little bit and wipe that excess off. Oh yeah, I like it. So the blue one's finished. That side in the buffalo plaid, that side in polka dots. The pink one is finished, that one in the mandala. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside, well, I'm going to stick it out the door, stand in the doorway, and spray it down with my um, Krylon matte finish sealer spray. That way this won't scrape off. This side I already did, so it's ready to go. And now, 
and cover the purple one, and I'll show you how I did the polka dots on the on the blue one. So I just took my little tray here, and actually you can see there's still paint, there's still white paint in there from when I did it. And you just pick whatever size paintbrush you want for whatever size polka dots you want. And so I picked this size, and I'm just dipping it in the paint, and then putting a couple dots. This little one's gonna have small polka dots. Now this one, when I purchased it, it was this color. And I um, saw some areas that didn't get touched up, so I thought it would be better, or did, you know, didn't even get painted. It was not the best painting job. So I pulled out my um, chalk paste. Let's see, what color is it? It's a purple color. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. And it's all the way over on my, my rack. But I just kind of brushed it on there. I didn't do a thick coat because I didn't want the light purple to be totally covered. This is an awesome technique I learned about on YouTube. Um, I love to use because it makes perfect little polka dots. I think that's enough. What do you think? I think that's plenty. So now I'm going to blow dry it a minute so that I can put the ribbon on it without messing up the polka dots. I'm just going to get loud really quick. about this chalk paste and chalk paint. I mean, it's just a quick dry. So it makes finishing the project a lot easier as well. And I think, I think I'm going to use this. Now on this side, I'm not going to put anything. I think this is absolutely perfect the way it is. But this side, it just needs, it needs it. I don't think I should use polka dots because polka dots on polka dots. I don't think that works. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have anything else that I think will work with it. So, I feel like I'm going to put one right there. Oh. Not to worry. One more blow dry. Now, I like to cut it just a little bit too long to begin with and then work with it to kind of line up. Here. Actually, the last one I did, I cut it lengthwise so it wouldn't be too wide. That's better. So I'm going to cut just a little more. There we 
we go. Oh yeah, it almost blends in like it's not even a separate, you know, piece of material. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm folding it like this and then taking another piece and folding it like this. And then I'm just tying the bunny ears into a knot and then pulling it. So, and it comes out kind of wonky at first, but you can just pull on the tails. And then when you see the one that moves, you want to grab the one that doesn't move. Let's see. Okay, so this side and this side doesn't move. So I'm going to pull those two to pull them tight. Pull the middle of it tight. And then you make the, the bow as big as you want, as little as you want. I'm going to cut, cut off the end. Then I'm going to dog ear here and there, and there we have a little bow. Now the, the tails might be a little too long, but we'll figure it out when I put it on here. One's longer than the other. That will bother me, so I'm going to shorten this one a little bit. There we go. Now a little block of glue. I had better control this time. Hot, hot, hot. Careful the glue. It's not very forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. And there it is. So, let's see. I can give you a good view of them. Sorry about the camera, guys. There they are. Don't mind the groceries. <laughs> so, here is the blue one with the polka dots. Let me do this. There. And the pink one with the mandala, purple one with the polka dots. Or, turned around, and you've got the blue with the buffalo plaid, the pink with the floral print, and the purple with the floral print. So that's it, just a quick live tonight, nothing really major, just wanted to share that with you, how easy it is to, date, to take just a plain piece of wood, like this, and turn it into something adorable for your home decor. All right, thanks everybody for joining or watching, depending on how it, you know, whether you rewatch, watch the replay or join me tonight. And um, if you have any questions, if you're interested in any of the information about the, the supplies, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back with you. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.